Sometimes things happen that upset us and we may find it hard to concentrate or perform well and we can make bad decisions. This situation can be especially difficult for sufferers of anxiety and ADHD. In this video, we want to provide some guidance on how to use a simple trick for dealing with emotionally upsetting issues. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, sometimes when things happen to upset us, we find it hard to concentrate. Our short-term working memory becomes poor. When upset, some people find it hard to think straight. Your performance can be affected and you can make bad decisions. For example, someone says something to you and you just don't hoist it in. You are seeing their lips move, but you don't really process what they just said. We've shared various strategies in our videos and other material for dealing with emotional upset. However, we want to share a simple trick that can work well with these other strategies. Sometimes it may be all you need to work through an upsetting event. One of the ways you can address this problem is to realize that the passage of time is key. You've probably heard the saying, this too shall pass. Well, there is a reason why this has such a popular adage. It often works. When something upsets you, if you write it out, the matter often won't seem as bad later on. Later, you can have a renewed perspective on things. You can often see the issue from a broader perspective without feeling as defensive. This is probably because the part of your brain more focused on the issue after you feel less upset is the prefrontal cortex and other areas rather than the amygdala, sometimes referred to as the reptilian brain. The amygdala is the primal area of the brain driving our behavior when we can often be at our worst to make decisions or respond to situations. This is backed by neuroscience research. Of course, there may be times when it's really important to respond quickly. However, in this video, we're talking about situations that can wait for your response, even though you may not feel like waiting. Taking some time can be helpful, regardless of whether the issue is upset, anger, or another emotion. Here are some tips for putting this advice into practice. Don't respond when you're most emotional. If you can, wait 24 hours before responding to really upsetting emails, voice messages, or other emotionally upsetting events. Put off big decisions until you allow yourself some time to process things more fully. Try to gather more information on the issue or seek the opinion of others. When seeking the opinion of others, don't try to present the information to confirm your plan of action, but instead factually present the information. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and look forward to presenting another one next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter. PanicAttackRecovery.com